This edition of Proving Ground is ripped right from the headlines. Our scenario actually happened. I'll be working with Beth Alcazar and our trainees to see what you would do in a scenario just like this. Well, Stacey, very active scene here. We are hearing that five people were injured, at least four of them stabbed. I was right in front of him, maybe like about five steps in front of him. This was a man with a knife. Yeah, everybody was screaming. He grabbed, he seen every, all the men coming after him. He grabbed him a hostage. I heard she was 16 years old. She got stabbed twice. Again, five people injured, at least four of them stabbed. And as soon as we get any new information for it, we will let you know. Thing. I'm the bad guy though. Great. Now Spencer, do you uh you carry every day? I carry every day. And do you have any training to back that up? Like do you have you done any training, range time? Like what is your Yes, so I'm a USCCA certified instructor as well as a training counselor and I've also gone through the DSF defensive shooting fundamentals course here at the USCCA as well. Doing another one. Okay, Tyler went up to the second floor and grabbed somebody. I don't even know who he's got. Let's see it. who's gonna get some great training today on the proving ground. They're great opportunities to continue to learn, so that you know, that's a great opportunity that taught me. It's my good buddy Spencer. React in a office setting. Hi, yeah. Spencer. Stop talking. Kevin's here. This way. We're gonna go do proving ground right now. This is your proving ground today, right this minute. So this is your stress vest. For work on the proving ground, we have selected the stress vest laser training system. Stress vest provides a pain penalty to the participants through electrical stimulation. But more importantly, it allows everyone in this scenario to clearly see and hear each other. More than 90% of communication is nonverbal, and stress vest does not require the participants' faces to be covered with safety gear. Everyone can clearly hear and more importantly see what's going on. Remember, scenario-based training is like working with building blocks. Each scenario is used to stress a few simple skills which you can then build on during future training. The answer is not always gunfire. If students can safely escape, they will be trained to do so. so all right. Andrew, I guess you can shut the door. One last thing. Well, not actually one last thing. Would you please take off your hat? <laughs> and uh, turn your head face away from me. And uh, we're gonna blindfold you. And we can start rolling. Now that you're blindfolded, don't know where we're going, we can tell you the rules. So you've got your uh, safety glasses and your hat right there. We are on our way to your proving ground. This is a deadly force decision-making scenario. This is not a gunfight, okay? Okay. You need to make the right decision. Might be a gunfight, might not be a gunfight, okay? We want you, as a trainee, to think about this the way you would go about your business every day. Just because you're in the proving ground now does not mean that you get to pull out your gun and start flinging shots all over the place. Sure. We can and will punish you with that belt if you're making mistakes, okay? We have remote access to that and if we decide you're doing something wrong, we're gonna hit you. Okay. Just cause. We like to. <laughs> so, um, I want you to keep that in mind. Uh, actions have consequences. Um, actions in a self-defense scenario have lots of consequences. So all of the things we teach here at the USCCA, you have to keep in your head. Except uh, how to get a better birthday gift, <laughs> I guess. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, I can get this all returned for you. Uh, can I have the receipt? Um. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, I, I heard this book like has names and stuff in it. Like, really? Yeah. Like, I don't. I don't know anything about this stuff. Me either. I mean, <laughs> it was. It was Gotta a big thing, like way back when. But yeah. I mean, like, it was like some like, satanic thing. A dumb. satanic thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just I never you know all of this stuff is so complicated. I'm working this store, but I'm just like. I don't know what to do with this stuff. Oh, really? Like, I don't know nothing on this receipt here. I, I don't know. Oh. I don't know if it's 
you know, I, I was just in here yesterday. Yeah, I mean, we just got these. Hey, man, excuse me for a sec. Um, I got a birthday party that I'm going to, and I got my nephew. Push me away, dude. No, no, I'm just... I have a question. Uh, Personal space. <laughs> uh, it's for the six-year-old, and I have no idea what I'm doing in a school like this. I have no idea either, man. I do not have any kids or anything like that. So. All right, well, <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm no good. Right. What's up, dude? Not a whole lot. I could, I, could, I could do, like, a bank transaction or something. i got to find that on my can't, phone. I can't do that. I have to have the receipt. So the actual receipt. Whatever. Yeah. So, like, just to know I'm, that you have the book hey, and you have the so receipt. So I'm just totally just out game, man. Money, man. I'm down. Dude, it's alright, man. Want to buy the book or something? Because right. it's the same. You don't have to make it like that for everybody, dude. It's okay, guys. I'm sorry, I'll be out of your way. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you, did you like I check all of your pockets? Like, yeah. the jacket you're yeah. wearing? Back pocket. Yeah. There. I check my wallet. Yeah. Because yeah. I really can't do anything without it. Like, I really have to have it. Buy it. give me my 50 bucks back without the receipts. All right, it's okay. It's okay, man. I mean, sir, you have 30 days. You just bought it yesterday. You got 29 days. I'm gonna bring it back. Hey! Oh, oh, hey! Oh, yeah. Hey! 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 Smiley on. Oh, oh, get out of your phone. Hey! 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 All right, Spencer, come on up. We got to talk. Role players, gather around. We have some topics that we want to address. So, you saw Jake's gun. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it had nothing to do with your scenario. Very correct. Yeah, what were you paying attention to when you walked in here? When I walked in? Well, I yeah. was in a hurry to just get my items and get mm -hmm. out quick. Yeah, I told um, you you were in a hurry. You wanted yep, to get moving. So, so uh, when, uh, when the argument at the counter started escalating, I noticed that you move to the side and put down your materials. What yeah. were you thinking of doing? Uh, my first reaction is I just need to be able to have full mobility of everything. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to get stuck. Yeah. Oh, what am I going to do with this? It's just another thing to think about. So mm -hmm. when someone's arguing, whether it's over five bucks or 50 bucks and someone else is chirping at them from behind, I don't yeah. want to be in the middle of something like that. I want to be able to run as fast as I can <laughs> if necessary. Yeah. Without good, good thinking. Stealing on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. speaking of running, did you at all think about trying to take a quick exit? I saw you back up and make some distance, but did that thought enter your mind? So mainly the distance actually came when uh, the gentleman with a gun in his back pocket at the counter started backing up. I tried to make sure he wasn't behind me so mm -hmm. that I could keep eyes on that firearm and make sure I understood where that was. But when I saw that her life was in immediate danger with a knife to her throat, mm -hmm. Yes, the there was a, I guess, a split second thought, I think, that said mm -hmm. run, but yeah. I honestly would rather protect somebody than okay. run well, away from Your it. choice, and it was yep. a good choice. Fired, I think, 10 times. I think we counted 10 think shots. 10. Got one hit on him, none on her. So target isolation worked for you, but were you seeing the front sight out there? Uh, if wow. you can't remember I can't, now, I can't you, remember. Probably not. Yeah, I can't remember, so I would sight. say probably yeah. not, but yeah. I did... Um, through some of the training I've done, I know that you are supposed to be way more steady, so I made sure to take a breath when shooting and things okay. like that. So I, my guess yeah. would be my first shot is the one that hit. Okay. All right. And yeah. then after so. that may have been extra. Yeah, well, it, 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 it all looked pretty good from that situation right there. But again, it's probably the first time you're shooting at a moving target under a little bit of stress. So <laughs> Definitely. All right. Well, you did a great job, Spencer. Thank you very much for coming out. Sorry to interrupt your day. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching our free training video. Scroll down now so that you can leave us your questions and comments.